They say that if you don't ask, you don't get, and sometimes asking for a little extra can really pay off. But other times it can result in nothing more than plain old miscommunication. From one-inch pizzas to socially distanced sandwiches, let's tuck into some of the most gut-busting times people got served very literally what they requested. While fast food chain drive throughs might be convenient, it's annoyingly easy for restaurants to forget to throw in your dipping sauces with your meal. So some customers have decided to catch up on their missed sauce packets with some very specific requests. This condiment crusader who shared their sauce win on Reddit brazenly asked the clerk taking their order for as much fire sauce as they could give them without losing their job at Taco Bell. Turns out that was precisely 243 packets. While it might seem like a bold move, I can't even talk about the number of times other customers have pulled off the exact same saucy stunt. Because with the damage that Taco Bell is already doing to their insides, why not go the extra spicy mile? And they say if you can't stand the heat, then it's time to get out of the kitchen. But this next customer certainly came away with a bit more of a cool down than they requested. Looking forward to a delicious pepperoni and black olive pizza, they decided they'd try their luck and ask for some extra ranch. Little did they know that they'd end up with 15 tubs of stuff, plus four tubs each of parmesan and chili flakes. To be fair, for a ranch addict, this could be a total godsend, working out at almost two ranch tubs per slice, the perfect ratio. Thankfully for those two last sauce seekers, they were given their condiments in containers, meaning they could control the precise amount of extra they'd really asked for. Unfortunately, this poor McDonald's customer opened their spicy McChicken sandwich to find that it had been assaulted with what can only be described as a mega mayo massacre. Ugh, I think I nearly threw up in my mouth. It's safe to say that with that amount of mayo, this guy effectively neutralized any heat from that spicy McChicken sandwich. From one McChicken catastrophe to another, one health-conscious fast foodie decided that McDonald's was the perfect place for a nutritious lunch and was sure to ask for light mayo on their slimming McChicken sandwich. Expecting a delicious sandwich filled with low-fat mayonnaise, this customer unwrapped their meal to find the measliest amount of mayo they'd ever seen. Even if they had been asking for a light quantity of mayo, this would still be a crime against condiments everywhere, although asking to remove the lettuce wasn't exactly a pro-health move, so maybe for the best. I guess the best way to have prevented this miscondimentication it would have been to ask for the mayo to be served on the side to douse the perfect amount, right? Nope, not going by this next abomination anyway. Just goes to show that even when you think you've been very clear with the instructions for your order, there's always room for misinterpretation. I don't think this was quite the literal result this patron expected from Taco Bell when they asked for their sour cream on the side, but it's certainly what they got. From on-the-side sauce to over-the-top tongue ticklers, when this customer said they wanted grilled jalapenos on their burger, I don't think they meant they wanted a whole pepper skewered on top. You've got to wonder what the chef's thought process really was here. Maybe he thought he'd add an obscene amount of lettuce to tone things down, or maybe he'd hoped the diner would chomp the sizzling topside addition in one go, and that would encourage him to order an ice cream dessert to cool off. Either way, I think this spice lover might just choose his words a little more carefully next time. If we've learned anything so far, it's better to be ultra-specific when making special requests, and seeing as adults can't seem to manage it, it might be time to look to the younger generation. This kid took his mom at her word when she told him he could get himself one donut from Brown's Bakery in Oklahoma City, Upon his return, she was shocked to see he'd purchased literally the largest single donut he could get his hands on. Sporting a sheepish-looking grin on his face, 
he won't need to worry about getting in trouble. After all, he followed her very unspecific instructions to a T. That still only counts as one! Turns out that last donut delinquent isn't the only kid in Oklahoma who has his special ordering down to an art. Over in the city of Tulsa, another kid had a donut dream of his own, and he was more than willing to go the extra mile to make it a reality. Submitting a design to the Hertz Donut Company, little Alex drew up a sketch for the creation of his ultimate dream donut. Complete with blue frosting, caramel drizzle, and topped with crumbled Oreos, Alex was keen to see his donut brought to life. His justification? Well, simple. Because his donut is the best. Not one to scrimp on size, Alex also opted for a Long John donut base, filled with cream for an extra sweet bite. And following the kid's instructions to the finest detail, Hertz Donuts brought his creation to life. Very literal, and despite the blue coloring, very tasty looking. While Alex's creative genius resulted in a delicious treat, the same can't exactly be said about this next special request. Despite the fact that most McDonald's restaurants don't sell ice cream sandwiches, one customer figured he'd see just how creative the workers at the Golden Archers could be if he asked for one. Upon opening the box, this customer had a bit of a frosty reception for what was staring back at him. There are some sweet and savory combinations that really do work well together. Fried chicken and waffles, salted caramel. Some people even enjoy dipping McDonald's french fries into their milkshake. But somehow I don't see a dollop of vanilla ice cream sandwiched in between a lightly toasted burger bun becoming the next big food craze. On to some even cooler strokes of genius. One coffee-loving customer ordered an espresso over ice from Dunkin' Donuts and was served up what can only be described as the coffee version of a Russian nesting doll. This mini espresso cup balanced over ice inside of a larger cup is the best kind of technically accurate service. While it may look pretty ridiculous, turns out that a lot of baristas out there will serve chilled takeaway drinks separately like this to allow the customer to combine their caffeinated ice shot whenever they fancy. But while that icy espresso was secretly handy, this next caffeinated calamity comes down to a strong, steaming cup of miscommunication. Looking for a little something extra with their post-dinner coffee, one restaurant diner asked for a coffee with Bailey's. You can only imagine this diner's surprise when they were served up with not a cup of Joe with a Bailey's cream liqueur, but a black coffee with a pot of bay leaves on the side. I'm a little surprised that this accidental or maybe intentional pun wasn't served up with the leaves floating in the coffee, like some kind of extra caffeinated herbal tea seeing as bay leaves are sometimes infused in teas. But maybe they just thought they wanted to sniff the leaves as a palate cleanser? Either way, it really beggars belief. If all that caffeinated confusion isn't enough for you, then why not sample a refreshing glass of Coca-Cola? Before you comment, no, this isn't an ad, but throughout its 134-year history, Coca-Cola has come out with hundreds of different flavors and varieties. From Coke Lime to Coca-Cola Cinnamon, many flavors have come and gone, and while Coca-Cola Classic is still very much top dog, another global favorite is Coca-Cola Cherry. But when one fizz-seeking diner requested a glass of Cherry Coke at their local Italian restaurant, they got a whole lot more than they bargained for. Although the classic soda wasn't on the menu, the server was determined to give the customer what they wanted, and plucked up the courage to serve this cherry bomb. With nine dunked cocktail cherries and counting, this must have tasted fresher than anything the Coke Corporation could have come up with. And if you thought those cherries were multiplying, then wait till you see this next egg sample of extra servings. It looks as though this customer must have asked the restaurant for all their extra eggs in one basket. Or, more accurately, ramen bowl. While most regular bowls of ramen are complete with one or two egg halves, this cracking service came with at least 11 egg halves. And that's just based on what we can see. While an over-egged ramen might not sound like such a great idea on your rear end, 
and anyone unfortunate enough to be within its vicinity a few hours later, there's another bowl of ramen out there that makes even bay leaf coffee breath sound like a dream. When ordering an authentic ramen bowl in Japan's Gunma Prefecture, one customer unwittingly kicked up quite the stink when they asked for extra garlic in an already garlic-heavy dish. This hot, steaming bowl of garlic with a side of ramen included a super stanky 50 cloves. And while garlic may be good for hair, skin, and the immune system, you might want to steer clear of consuming that much all at once. Overdoing it with garlic can cause bloating, diarrhea, a burning mouth, as well as body odor and, of course, bad breath. No wonder vampires are terrified of this stuff. While it might look like a tempting challenge to some, maybe skip out on this one if you're on a date. Unless it's not going particularly well, this will definitely keep them away from you. In contrast to that garlic overload, we all have that one friend that likes all their food to be as plain as possible. But I'm pretty sure even this next person who ordered just a plain hamburger from McDonald's didn't expect it to be quite so… plain. Judging by the bill, this picky eater was just looking to ditch the pickles, onions, ketchup, and mustard, but didn't intend for the restaurant to omit their burger patty too. While I don't quite see this type of nothing burger catching on, by contrast, this tower burger could be a new burger joint menu mainstay, made as per the customer's instructions, including around 15 patties as well as a cheese slice between each one, this belly-busting burger would have stacked up at least 2,250 calories. That's the recommended amount for a full-grown man for one whole day. Yikes. That diet doesn't sound nearly as balanced as the waiter carrying this burger over would have had to be. If that 15-fold burger looked like a bit of a meaty overdose to you, then how about a burger that literally has every topping? This ambitious diner asked for a cheeseburger with extra everything and ended up with a burger behemoth including mustard, ketchup, A1 steak sauce, three types of mayo, four types of hot sauce, and the toppings just keep coming. Five cheeses, all the veggies the restaurant had to offer, plus queso, chili, and salsa verde. And while you might think the biggest challenge would be to keep all that food down, the real task is getting it all in. I don't even want to think about what this diner's shirt and lap would have looked like if they'd tried to pick that thing up. Let's hope they weren't wearing white. From everything burgers to everything pizza now. As the largest pizza chain in the US, Domino's is a staple for pizza lovers. There are more than 35 million ways to make a single Domino's pizza. But have you ever wondered exactly what would happen if you tried to order a pie that includes one of every topping? Well, wonder no more, as one Domino's employee has already put in the elbow grease for us and actually managed to make a pizza that included every single available topping at his restaurant. While the traditional Domino's takes approximately 7 minutes and 15 seconds to bake, this everything pizza took almost double that, clocking it at almost 11 minutes to completely cook through. The anonymous Domino's worker posted his creation on Reddit and claims that his store actually sells a few of these everything pizzas a few times per month, though only to their very regular customers. Now, before you rush to order yourself an everything pizza just like this one, unfortunately the majority of Domino's restaurants limit the number of toppings each customer can order on one pizza, due to how much regularly making pizzas with every topping could slow down general production. Not only that, but if there are too many toppings piled on top of each other, you'd run the risk of ending up with a quite soggy bottomed pie. But if you thought that everything pizza looked overloaded, check out this extra pepperoni pizza shared on Imager. Whoever constructed this was so dedicated to piling as much pepperoni onto the pizza as possible, they couldn't even lay the slices flat. Instead, standing them upright in little procession lines weaving around the pie. Talk about a sausage fest. The beauty of pizza is the infinite options for customization. These days you can get just about anything on a pizza pie, from macaroni cheese to kiwi. Not that you should, of course. But considering the infinite number of options, 
you'd think that a simple request for a topping of chicken would be a pretty easy thing to pull off for any restaurant. Well, this diner felt a little bit chickened out when they were served up this in Israel. Every chicken lover's dream, this pizza is most certainly the top of the pecking order. Some more cultured Redditors have pointed out that this could be a variation of a Palestinian dish called a mushkan. This traditional dish is composed of roasted chicken baked with onions, sumac, allspice, and fried pine nuts, served over a special kind of bread known as taboon. According to the poster behind this pizza pic, the restaurant had actually listed the dish as a pizza on its menu, although the OP speculated that it was most likely a bid to try and describe the dish to dining tourists unfamiliar with the concept. This wasn't the only pizza miscommunication problem that was shared online. This customer was shocked to find they'd accidentally ordered a bite-sized pepperoni pizza. Thinking there must have been some kind of mistake in the kitchen, the disappointed customer soon realized that they'd mistyped and requested a 1-inch pizza when they'd meant to request a 10-inch. It looks like this cookie-sized pizza was delivered in a very tiny paper bag, so at least the customer had some idea of what they were in for. Imagine hungrily opening a full-size pizza box to find yourself the recipient of this 1-inch wonder. What's even crazier is that the restaurant still billed them for the full-price pizza that was advertised on the menu. Talk about a breach of customer crust. While that customer got a lot less than they'd bargained for, here at Be Amazed, you'll always get served a full buffet of fresh content every day. Why not tuck into that like button for starters, followed by that scrumptious subscribe button? If you've still got room for dessert, you could even dig into that bell icon to make sure you're the first to know when I post a new video. But before you overindulge, let's get back to the video. Unfortunately, customer complaints are always on the menu if you're a server at a restaurant. And while most of the time the complaints are unpleasant, some slightly more fun customers out there make the job worthwhile. One restaurant customer jokingly complained to the server that his blue cheese sauce wasn't actually blue the last time he ordered it. While this might be quite literally the cheesiest dad joke of all time, the restaurant worker served up an even greater punchline. Armed with a vial of blue food dye, he set about making the customer's blue cheese sauce, well, blue. Unlike that blue donut from earlier, I think I'll pass on this cheesy abomination. While we're on the topic, we all know at least one person that's completely obsessed with cheese. There are some people out there that will put cheese on just about anything, but sometimes there can be too much of a good thing. Take this extra cheesy pizza that's so thick with the stuff, you can barely see the tomato sauce that lies beneath. I can feel my arteries clogging just looking at it, and that's not even that much compared with how crazy some people go. Even the cheese itself seems to think things have gone too far on this special order pizza, quite literally spilling over the sides trying to escape. And these cheese fanatics don't just stop with pizza. I'll bet this guy felt like quite the big cheese when he ordered this burger. So drenched with sloppy cheddar it almost looks alive. If you want some fries to go with that, then head over to KFC for some more cheese-tastic chomping. I'm sure when this turrophile, that's the official term for cheese connoisseur, ordered a load of extra cheese on their fries, they weren't expecting this kind of load. You wouldn't even guess that there are potato wedges swimming in that hot tub cheese machine. And if cheese isn't really your thing, then why not spring for some extra gravy on your fries? Would you like some fries with that gravy? I'd say this overloaded poutine looks more like the toilet bowl aftermath of all that dairy. No one likes a party pooper, especially when on vacation. So when one customer was asked what they wanted for dessert aboard a Disney cruise ship, and they simply replied with nothing, the chef of the happiest place on earth got creative. You can imagine the diner's surprise when this was placed in front of them. That's right. It's a big fat plate of nothing that's sure to put a smile on even the strictest dieters. I guess you really can still get something for nothing. While that delicious nothing dessert turned out to be quite the happy ending, 
The same can't be said for this next diner, who got served up something that's nothing short of eye-watering. Ordering a side of onion rings to accompany their meal, they were thrown for a loop when they opened the box to find this. I mean, technically speaking, those are onion rings. Thanks to this tear-jerking experience, I'll bet this customer was extra careful to specify deep-fried onion rings the next time. They say that if you want the job done right, you're better off doing it yourself. And that's exactly what this next diner learned when they asked their server for their burger to be cut in half. I think it's safe to say that if you were waiting for a succulent burger and this arrived, you'd be pretty cut up about it too. Still, it's not quite as bad as what this individual received when she asked her husband to cut up an avocado, something he'd clearly never done before. I just hope he didn't try a piece, wrongly assuming the chopped up avocado seed was meant to be enjoyed alongside the green flesh like a bitter, crunchy center. Speaking of nonsensical separations, one sandwich shop worker received a bizarre phone call from a concerned customer back in 2020, who asked whether they would be socially distancing with her ordered sandwiches. More than happy to oblige, the sandwich worker happily fulfilled the customer's request in a kitchen they were running alone. In the era of the pandemic, restaurants really stepped up to the plate in taking every effort to keep customers safe. But this just seems a little too far. The hilarious chef's perfectly formulated picture response looks more like a sandwich edition of Where's Waldo, with a total of seven sandwiches separated across the counter, shelf, and even on top of appliances. Looks like there's even a spot available inside that microwave in case an emergency sandwich quarantine is needed. And who's to say there's not another sandwich already quarantining under that hat? Which of these special servings tantalized your taste buds the most? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you're hungry for some more amazing content, why not check out another delicious video? Thanks for watching.